Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue into level 2 Megabase where we are getting quite close to our uh, goal of 4k. We uh, are doing massive expansion at the moment. Last episode we did uh, the giant steel expansion and we might have gone a bit overboard. Not that I really mind because then we don't really have to worry about it in the future. But uh, look at that massive thing. We have about 400k steel stored up at the moment. About 5.5 million ore flown in to all of our buffer chests. So uh, hopefully we don't have to look at steel for a long, long time. So the next thing I want to look at, if we look at our uh, things here, we're missing plastic. That's because we're missing petroleum. So um, I think it would be a very, very good idea if we start to uh, look at the oil. So we have a few different setups. We have our normal oil setup and we have our, what's it called, liquefaction setup. And uh, since we have quite a bit of oil already, uh, let's try and go with uh, making a huge setup of uh, liquefaction. It is running somewhat well at the moment. It's not running at 100% but they are all running to some degree. So uh, I'll just stick with this for now and just let it do its job. We just need to put that one. No way, oh, that's something we'll need to fix here. I can see this is overlapping wrong. So we'll have to, wonder if we can go all the way. We'll see when this removes, if, uh, if that'll fix the problem we have right here. Uh, I haven't noticed it before now, and I probably should, because I have zero product finished. And, uh, yeah. That is what we're going to go with. Let's just check there's no other mistakes in this blueprint. Doesn't look like it. Can it jump this far? That's what I'm hoping. But that's the blueprint we're going to go with, and maybe just make a huge area over here. Maybe the same size as our... Um, steel smelter setup or maybe just put down nine for now and then expand out our normal oil setup a bit more that is all what we're debating at the moment to get what we need i have a feeling we might need twice as much in terms of what we have right now so um that's what i'm gonna go and see if i can't make we'll also have to clear out some of all of this because we do have a bit buffering uh, right here in the middle and that is not an optimal situation. So what if we just do, you can go away and just add in a few more robot, uh, robot ports right here while the rest of our uh, blueprints get changed just to the right. So where is our robot ports? There we are. Let's just place you down. That should at least add, add a bit more uh, charging around here. Oh, that one's still going for about 4k more. So we'll just leave it. But let's see. Oh, that still connects up. That's perfect. Then you just need this one. And then this one should work as intended and we can just start to stamp it down. Uh, in terms of where we should put it, what if we do a nine by nine over here, just below this line. So we'll say, Let's just mark it out. Let's make nine right here. I always like to plan out things a bit so we don't just go uh, completely mad in how we're planning things. Might also mean that we should start splitting out some of this into more dedicated cells like that. But uh, let's wait a bit before we do it. I still want to uh, try and keep this uh, as is. Let's just get the power around this one. There we go. And there. So let's see if all of this is working. We could, there we go, let's pipe. That should activate this one. Okay, we have no water coming in. Is water lacking that much? Because 
stack goes this way. So this steals some most of the water. Oh, this just can't output fast enough. Uh, let's take a trip down here. It seems we have more things we will have to uh, solve in that blueprint. Uh, a bit, what's called, disappointed in myself that I didn't notice before now. That uh, the throughput is uh, quite abysmal. Abysmal even. So let's see here. Can't even take our little car because there's so many things. But there we go. Car is not much faster than running because of uh, the UPS. So in fear we should probably just run in the future. Ooh. Because this is not doing that much for us. Let's just clear the rest of this. There we are. Let's give our robot something to do. So let's run all the way down here. It looks kind of slow when we're moving, but that's just because of... Um, of the UPS. So let's see. No water is flowing through here, at least not fast enough. Because it's not reaching the end. So that means we should probably just add some, uh, some speed to this, and that should probably solve it. So what if we do this? Now it's going all the way through the end. We don't have any buffering uh, going on at the moment. We could probably add that somewhere. Uh, can we fit it in somewhere? Can right here if we wanted to. And uh, I kind of want to. Or can this... Oh, this is buffering up now, so we, we should be fine with this setup. We have it going all the way through. That should also mean these are activated um, a lot more. So yeah, let's just keep this blueprint. Let's expand it out times nine and see what we can do. Please take you. And let's see, we have it planned right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the nine cracking ones right here. We can also expand out our um, setup right here. Because they are running. They are cracking, not optimally cracking. That can be an issue. But uh, we do have it. So we could just expand these out a few more times. Just filling up even more. So what if I have nine of these as well? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that would give us a lot more of our normal oil as well, as well as upgrading or cracking a whole lot. So um, let's just steal one of these this part right here so one two three four five six seven eight nine so uh, we've just done a massive expansion of our coal uh coal sorry of our oil and now to think about it Oh wait, we do have uh, coal being flown in, so that should be fine with the, the amount we have stored. No need for a buffer chest for now. So leave that. This is slowly being built. That's going to give us water in. Not sure that this can keep up, but we'll see as soon as it all activates because, uh, yeah, plastic is an issue that we'll have to solve. 
these are not running full speed. They are pretty much missing the petroleum as the main thing. And then we should produce enough plastic. That is at least uh, what I'm hoping. We're producing about 70k here. A bit less, 68k uh, plastic per minute. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will solve it. In terms of throughputs, we are at 2.4k. Uh, idling at 2.4k. See here, 2.5 over 10 minutes. So um, this is a 2.5k science per minute base at the moment. So this should bump it up quite a bit more. And if we need even more of this, we can always just expand out our base because we've made everything very, very modular. These are working over here. That means we're getting closer and closer to our max. But uh, let us give this a chance to be built and see how it works when everything is set up. I'm guessing we're missing a ton of things that needs to be crafted. But uh, we have the pipes. Do we have the underground as well? Yeah, we have 1.8k, which we're actually picking up all 1.8k. That's a lot of undergrounds. Did not think it was that many. But uh, luckily, it's uh, just chucking along. Yeah, that is perfect. Just keep going. Uh, how's it going over here? Let's just remove some of these trees so we can see a bit more. You can go away. Let's just remove all the trees. They are looking annoying in our factory. Let's go from here and to over here. Should give our robots a bit to do. Yeah, construction robots. Uh, pretty much tacked. Taxed. <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. But uh, that is fine. Power-wise, no issues. For, for 2.5k, this is actually not that bad that we're holding it at uh, this stage. Should probably go to double this. And uh, if it goes twice as far, it seems we might have enough to uh, to keep it going. If not, we can always just expand things out. Well, there we are. Guessing more construction robots is being put into the system as we speak. And things are getting flown in. So, um, oh, I love seeing this much being built at one time. This is pretty much why I do grid-based for this easy expansion. Just letting uh, robots do the heavy lifting without us having to place down anything by hand. Because that becomes a bit of an, a nuisance after a while. So let's just watch this go. Things charging. Could add in more robots, but uh, I don't think it's needed. They just need to catch up a little bit. wonder if we have enough in storage for it. We should have enough module. Oh, that just takes a bit of modules. How much does one of these take? Only 80. So we have enough for 20 of these at least. And that's the same for the other one. And we are building 18. So uh, that should be more than enough. And more than enough than that. So we, we're going to have enough modules for all of this. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm more excited to see how all crude uh, uh, oil barrels will uh, we'll, uh, we'll handle this. Because right now, because of all the productivity we are going through, we're actually quite far uh, in, in terms of where we're getting our resources from. So we actually have some out here. We have this not being used. We have the huge patches out here, not even being tapped yet. So I'm quite, quite pleased with this, to be honest. And the rest are just slowly building. Getting everything up to speed. Robots already caught up again. All the, what's it called? 
construction robots are starting to idle. That means they're either picking up the last of the things or everything is in the air. Oh, I love how easy this is to set up. Can always expand a bit more, but let's uh, let's let's keep it at this for now. Power wise, yeah, only consuming about what is that 20, 25 G's per second. That's a small amount. We have capacity for about double that. So let's just check on the base. And I'm quite excited to see how far it's going to increase up now that we uh, have done this much to expand it. If we'll produce enough plastic or petroleum, we'll still lack. We'll probably lack a ton of barrels. That might be something we'll have to wait to uh, to level out. It does cost us about 100k um, steel so far just to getting uh, this up and running. But I don't really mind that. So let's see, you'll probably have to watch the water as well. They are all going. Almost. Probably just buffering the things we need. <coughs> and then later we will... Uh... <coughs> Sorry about that guys. Be good. Here we are. We are producing enough steam to keep it all running. Luckily we did uh, some kind of math on that. So that should keep it all flowing nicely with filled up with steam. And that seems to be the case, filling up uh, the pipes slowly to make sure we have enough. But how is the fluid production looking? If you check that out. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, water consumption did increase to more than double. Or the production at least. Consumption didn't increase that much. We're just filling up all of our buffer chests. And all our quester chests. So that's not too bad. How about petroleum? Did you increase at all? It should slowly. But right now it's uh, it's not there yet. We're still flying in things. And these are stealing a lot of the barrels that ain't being used yet. So is all of our oil pumps being tapped? Seems everything is being picked up. Barrels are being delivered in. So it seems most of our things is completely tapped in terms of this. And that would also be the case. But consumption wise, if you look at oil, it shouldn't be uh, that bad yet. It did jump up a few times. Small dip, then a jump. Uh, this dip here is because when we expanded, all the barrels then went to something that produced quite regularly, went to the buffer chest, and then it got back up into gear again as soon as they start to produce. Production did increase as well, mostly just because uh, we can handle it. So that seems like we have more than enough production to handle this kind of uh, throughput, at least at the moment. That can, of course, change as we continue. That's working. This is slowly filling up the barrels. And we need this to fill up before these start to do the cracking and produce uh, even more. In theory, we could set up a cracking uh, cell for all the excess we have uh, stored up. That could be uh, a way to do it. Because right now, I think we have quite a bit in barrels. Well, we have 10k. It is a bit, it's not the end of the world. So we'll just kind of leave it for now. What about our barrel production? It is working as fast as it can, probably not fast enough. So let's just, let's just do this. Let's add in a few, a bit more barrel production. All right, here just to increase it. Let's take this part and get some more. Because I have a feeling that barrels is one of the things we will lack. 
and we have limited it it's about 5k in storage so um yeah this shouldn't matter it'll just mean that when we do these huge expansions it will uh will get sorted out a bit faster because we do have quite a big of a um lack of it Electric furnaces are lacking, most because they are lacking uh, red circuits, because that's plastic. So everything is tied into the oil at the moment, in terms of what's holding back our base. So all of this is constructed, or close to at least, needs a few more chemical plants. These up here, missing a bit as well. But they are slowly getting uh, getting filled and getting things flown in. Yep, that's looking good. So we could tap some more oil, we could leave it for now. And as we just saw, I think we'll just leave it for now. There's no need to do any more to it. I'm thinking if we expand more oil while we add it, but uh, I think this is good enough for now. So let's go back to the main base. Let's uh, look at how fast we're producing these, because I'm guessing we just have one doing it, and it's quite uh, strained at the moment. Uh, only about 60k robots in the air. Not that bad, could be worse. So I'm gonna keep it at that. So let's just go fix the last few things we need for uh, expanding. This is slowly running. We are at 1.7k rocket launches. Cause this is working quite good. Let's go all the way over here. Let's go up to our little mall. That's kind of one of the things we have to, to look at. But it's quite nice running through the base, just watching it all work. It's not something we do that often. And uh, yeah. Let's go right here as a mall. Let's see what's holding things up. This one is done. Slowly starting to build up again. This one is fine as well. You are a bit slow. Let's give you a small upgrade. I think you'll be happy about that. More barrels into the system. And where are we making? Right here. That is pretty much what I want to beef up. And let's give me that should be putting it in fast enough now. Same over here. We'll have to get what seems like a second input. But it's a run non-stop. Oh, we just need this to crest a bit more, it seems. What if we do that to increase it? That should mean the robots will get it in a bit faster. Let's do this. Then we at least make sure we have enough. So it doesn't wait for the items it needs because that was pretty much the only thing holding it back. There we go. Producing some every few seconds. Getting the last of these in. Only 45 more. We'll probably just increase how many we store at a time. 
in case you want to do a huge expansion again. We are at that point where that is good enough for me. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Anything else you want to look to buffer? Let's buffer raw radars as well. So we'll be needed for our rocket launches. So um, to be honest, let's just do this and get everything upgraded to better things instead of me doing it one at a time. That is a lot quicker. <laughs> and then we don't have to worry about that anymore. You can request a bit more at a time. And the rest here is actually looking quite good. This can get some speed in case you want to increase more. And there's one more right there. That way, if we do a huge expansion of rubber ports, they will still fill up fast enough. I know we have one and a half thousand, but uh, you never know. We have been spending quite a bit getting things up and running. So, um, is this done down here? Close to. How is our production looking? It peaked here at crude oil because of all the inputs we had. Then back down to less than we had before because we are missing things. The same with our uh, consumption. That should slowly increase now as um, the rest get done. Water-wise, it's also fine in terms of consumption. So it's just getting the rest up and running is uh, what's holding us back. Yeah, we need things to get to work first. That's because these are still filling up. These are still getting filled. So until these are filled, nothing is going to happen in that department. Yeah, ton of barrels, ton of things we need to buffer up before things start to work. That is just the way it is. And we need to have these anyway because we will need it other places in the base. So I can't just remove them, or I probably could for some of them, but uh, I think it's a lot cooler just having them as is. This on the other hand should, that is up top now, this is increased to more. That means that all of these are starting to run now, producing petroleum into these, giving us barrels at a slow pace, but at least giving us some. Let's see, this is 72, 74, these one have a bit of uh, beacons on them. That makes them mean they move a lot faster. And to be honest, if you've beaconed all of this, it would be a bit better. But uh, yeah, there wasn't really room in this setup with it to touch all of them anyway, because yeah, because of reasons. Yeah, I think that is quite good. Has our production started to increase yet? In terms of science, it went down because there were missing things as we saw. But it will start to increase again. So next episode, we will look at our production when everything has stabilized. And then I think it's about time we put down the last of our um, space science. Um, might just skip this area and put them below but uh, we'll see how we should do it could also just continue out some other way because we have 10 there we can also do the last down this way now I kind of want to have them right here to have a huge rocket launch area 
but uh, this is a bit in the way. But that's just the way it is. I don't want to stamp across it. Oh well, we'll look at that next episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you're still enjoying it. Hopefully you'll give me a like, subscribe. And then I will see you in next episode. Bye, guys.